I, I'm not going to hog this. Also, when you go on the NAACP's website, you won't find the word Republican. <laughs> I, I, I think before we fall prey to the trap of even addressing such questions, we need to remember that this is a president who got elected by a virulent form of racism. Uh, I wonder uh, how, uh, what would have happened if a white candidate in this country had been backed up by folks who were saying that white people should vote for him because he's white. White people should vote for him because of white pride and white this and white that. It's an absurdity, it's a travesty, it's an insult to the heritage, not only of America, but of black Americans. Martin Luther King was really clear about this, that it was not an issue of black and white, it was an issue of justice for all people. And when you stand forward to run for president of the United States, you should explicitly reject the notion that anyone ought to take account of your race, positively or negatively, so that this country can get beyond it. That has not been done, was not done, will not be done by the people who are now trying to exploit race for their advantage. But to exploit race for their advantage is what the whole business was about in the first place. Uh, what is sadly ironic, of course, is that in the midst of all this exploitation of a physical characteristic of pigmentation, we are to neglect the lack of any real identification with the actual heritage of black Americans, the actual values exemplified in the struggle of black Americans against slavery and for civil rights. The things that define a community in non-racial ways, all to be neglected in order to support someone on account of the pigmentation of their skin. This is racism of the worst kind. This spits in the face of the true spirit of the heritage of the black civil rights movement, which stood forward as I think a president of the United States ought to stand forward, to champion not this race or that, not even to champion simply America in some narrowly defined way, but to champion the spirit and character of America that from the beginning proclaimed justice and liberty for all humankind. I, I just want to address that one, one more time real quick, real briefly. Um, when I went to the uh, January 27th uh, Tea Party, Dr. Keyes was there also, um, of last year, uh, there were some signs then. And, uh, and being on Facebook, and especially a candidate, you get all kinds of feedback. And someone said, uh, this sign here is racist because what it pictured was a, 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 a tea drinker. They said, you know, a cup of tea and uh, a bottle of Kool-Aid. <laughs> and they said, the Kool-Aid is racist because you're implying that uh, um, o Obama, being black, drinks Kool-Aid. Are you a tea drinker or a Kool-Aid drinker? Well, th that shows a lack of understanding. The reference was to Jim Jones in Jonestown. You know, do you drink the Kool-Aid and kill yourself because you don't know what you're stepping into? And just like with the Constitution, a lot of our people don't understand the history and the meaning behind the bigger message. People come up to me all the time and say, uh, the Constitution was written by slave owners. Uh, the Constitution made me three-fifths of a man, <laughs> and so on down the line. It denied me the right to vote. It didn't do any of that, okay? As a matter of fact, the three-fifths clause was designed to assist in the northern states and, uh, and, and count slaves, uh, slave owning states in a lesser slave amount. Slave owners wanted us to be five fifths. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. And until you understand the full meaning behind these things, you don't understand what's really going on. And if the NAACP and all these other groups would simply investigate and ask the question, why is Obama pictured as a witch doctor? Well, because he, we were dealing with health care. Do we want to do an experiment? with healthcare that we don't know what it's going into, you know, find the reasons behind the things that are going on before you jump to the conclusion that is racist and then make your decision and we would criticize appropriately.